Today is National Fentanyl Awareness Day. We now continue our morning long discussion on the ongoing fentanyl crisis here in our central San Joaquin Valley. Right now, we have Fresno Police Department detective assigned to the DEA task force, Dean Cardinelli. Good morning, detective. Thank you for being with us. Good morning. Appreciate your time. Uh, tell me about Fort. Tell us what that is. So Fort, uh, it's, it's called the Fentanyl Overdose Resolution Team, and it's comprised of the Fresno Police Department, the Drug Enforcement Administration, uh, Home, Homeland Security Investigations. And what we do is we respond out to calls, in particular with calls of overdoses, uh, fentanyl overdose and overdose deaths. And uh, the reason why we formed this team is because about two years ago, we had kids between the ages of 14 to 21 overdosing uh, substantially. So we formed this team uh, here in Fresno and, and we respond out to these calls and treat them like homicide scenes. H how is it that uh, young children, uh, well, and people of all ages really, start this overdose on it or even just start taking these pills that are laced with it. Yeah, so unfortunately these, these kids are buying this, uh, this, this poison on Snapchat, social media, Instagram, actually getting it delivered to their houses. Wow. Uh, and that's the way they start. And, you know, what we found over the past two years is that, uh, that you know, they're starting with marijuana. Uh, then they're transitioning into, into fake Xanax, Xanax, Xanny bars. And then they're transitioning into these fake, what's called M30 pills or fentanyl laced uh, pills. And once they uh, once they get started on that, it's uh, just a hard road for these kids to get off of this stuff. And easy to overdose. Absolutely, yeah. Just one pill, uh, you know, you can overdose just off, off of one pill because you don't know how much fentanyl in, uh, is in each pill. Right. Uh, these pills are made in clandestine labs in, in, in Mexico, so you just don't know how much uh, fentanyl you get in each pill. So, how are you and your team working to? let everybody know about this. Yeah, so it's a two-pronged thing. We, you know, we go out and we investigate these cases to find out exactly who provided this poison to our kids. But also we're over there to uh, educate the parents and the, uh, and the kids on, on the dangers of fentanyl. And the Fort team uh, does probably two to three uh, presentations a week uh, in lo local high schools and middle schools to also alert them to the dangers of fentanyl. And one of the things that I'm, I'm learning this morning is that Fentanyl doesn't, you don't, it, you don't just have fentanyl. It doesn't look like it, it looks like something else. What does it look like in most cases? You know, in most cases, uh, you know, they, they look like fake Percocet Oxycontin pills, uh, blue and white in color, uh, M on one side, 30 on the other. But unfortunately, we're starting to see in everything now, uh, and, and laced in marijuana, uh, in cocaine, and methamphetamine. So today, you just don't know what you're getting. Uh, it could be laced in anything. Oh my goodness, yeah. and so and once you get it, like you said, is it very addictive? Uh, it obviously can cause overdoses. Yeah, so it's extremely addictive, you know, it's 100 times more potent than, than heroin, so the effects, uh, you know, uh, from what I've been told from our victims, you know, just one, taking it one time can, can actually addict you uh, on, on fentanyl. But it's also very dangerous for you. I mean, we've sadly heard many stories about officers going and, uh, to a scene and then falling. Absolutely, yeah. No, we, we take the the proper precautions. We've been to classes to where we, you know, we, we have uh, safety equipment and stuff when we uh, when we enter these these uh, scenes. But we also have Narcan, uh, and Narcan uh, reverses the effects of an opioid overdose. So we also have that on uh, on uh, on scene when we go out to these uh, these cases. Well, is there anything you could say from your experience uh, to parents who are watching this morning who may now be on alert about this being a possibility with their kids, what would you say to them? Absolutely, you know, you, you have to constantly talk to your kids. Um, you know, all kids get involved with this. A lot of times we hear from the parents that says, you know, not my kid, uh, right. it's impossible. Talk to your kids about, you know, the main, about the dangers of drugs. Uh, monitor their social media accounts. This is where this, you know, this stuff is being sold. And, and just stay in their life. Find out who they're hanging around with, their, you know, their friends, um, because, you know, they, they can make one deadly mistake uh, by just taking in a, a pill which they thought was, was harmless and you know, unfortunately, you know, they can either overdose or die. And briefly, why are any of the kids saying why they took these? You, you know, it, it, a lot of times it's just you know, it's a progression, uh, peer pressure. Um, you know, we've all you know taken kills, uh, pills as kids, and uh, you know they think it's safe. Uh, you know, in these predators that that prey on our kids, that that you know that provide this stuff to our kids. Uh, you know, they, they, the kid might be having a bad day that day, mm -hmm. yeah. and they might say, you know, I have something to you know, to, to cheer you up and to get you going today. And it's just as easy as that. And once you take these pills, I mean, it's sometimes, you know, there's no coming back from it.
Detective Cardinelli, thank you very much uh, you're welcome. for your help today. Absolutely. Trying to raise awareness about this crisis in our valley. If you or someone you know uh, needs help, whatever kind of help it is, mental health, substance abuse disorder, whatever, call this number on your screen, 1-800-654-3937. There are real live people who will always pick up the phone no matter the day, no matter the time.